Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the vision and the dreams that I have um, being uh, attacked by the enemy as well as uh, seeing the visions about the enemy. Okay, the first um, dream I'm going to tell you about is uh, I was looked like I was traveling at night and um, I heard a big giant uh, practically raping a woman. Okay, a big giant raping a woman. Then I decided to leave this house after I heard it and I come into another house. It looked like it's my house, but it ain't. It's more widespread to where I see a big television. Now, let me tell you guys, I don't like watching television. Um, I already know it's about the entertainment, Santanic Elite World. I know that they love putting pornographic images and evil images, lustful images, um, symbolism, and all that in their entertainment world. But this time, on television, it was about pornographic images okay now i know i don't watch television my, mo my mother told me oh girl you don't watch television i said i know so i know who was doing it by the time i figured out um in my dream who it was i said oh man that's satan okay so i said satan coming around trying to be lustful okay so i said okay and i woke up next thing you know my mother on the side was moaning in her sleep and she was going then I knew it was Satan even more so. She was, I said, Mama, you okay? I woke up. I said, Mama, you okay? She said, she said, oh, I was uh, walking and some dark man came and attacked me so suddenly. I said, that was Satan. Okay. And she said, he's a coward. He likes to attack us in our sleep. I said, that's what he does. That's why you have to be um, sober, be vigilant. Now, Usually when I uh, go to bed, I'll pray this prayer where um, I'll say, God, protect me. Uh, I'll put, uh, I put on the whole armor of God to withstand the wiles of the devil to defeat the enemy. Use, use um, my living vessel, dear God, and, uh, and uh, protect my soul from thy enemy to cast out any devils you need to. So I usually pray that prayer, but that night I was looking at some uh, YouTuber that's supposed to have been playing a, uh, what was a, a harp. Because I was looking at it and I said to myself, man, Satan is taking people um, in the Satanic Elite using um, instruments to play for him. Okay. So because you know King David... He used the harp to play for God and even cast out the evil spirit in Saul. Okay. But that's what I was looking at. And I wanted to learn how to play it myself. Okay. Because I see a lot of Satanists are playing um, instruments for their God. And I wanted to learn to buy like a little, little harp for me to play for myself for God. So while I was doing that, I fell asleep. Okay, to where I start dreaming that, and that's when all that happened. But I knew what was doing it. Now, usually when people see, usually when Satan come around and he show them lustful images. Okay, people. Some people wake up and say, "Oh, that's the that's the spirit of God." Okay, no, 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 no. Let me tell y'all, the spirit of God do not show you lustful images. Um. When Satan comes around, he do it intentionally, okay, to get you to like that, okay? Now, if you don't have the Spirit of God, you're going to think it is the Spirit of God. <laughs> knowing, don't, knowing very well that God don't tell you to do that. He don't tell you to fornicate or lust after strange flesh, okay? But if you are for the Lord, you will know that that's immediately that's Satan, okay, like I did. Okay, I knew Satan was around trying to attack us in our sleep, okay? So I immediately woke up and said, Mama, you okay? To wake her up out of it, okay? Um, now, since I have said that, you have to be sober and vigilant, okay? Even in your sleep, people. 
because Satan will come around to attacking you in your dreams and you, and, and when you when you um, sleeping. Okay, not only are you wide awake because you get that too, but then when you're sleeping, he comes around and people be dreaming these dreams. People now, like one guy, I think he made a a religion called the Adonis, the women Adonis, something like that. Don Dotology. I know y'all heard about that. He said he had a dream about a curved religious woman. Okay, being lustful at a curvilicious woman. That's Jezebelic type dream that he had. Now, one time he thought that was Satan. No, he said that was the Holy Spirit blasphemy much. Okay, I know y'all heard about this guy, about idolatology. Okay, but me, I'm going to tell you, us Christians do still get attacked by Satan. Okay, we'll get attacked by Satan because he, he know that he want us to fall with him. Okay. But we as Christians, we we'll, we know to defeat that, okay? Once you know who's doing it, you'll know how to defeat that. Because God will have to give you the discernment and the spirit to know who it is, okay, automatically. Now, as far as another vision I had, now this vision made me so angry. Just as, just as this vision, I, uh, the dream I had when Satan attacked me, but this made me even more angry. Because it was about the kids. Okay. It was about the kids. Now when Satan come around. I know how to handle that. I know how to cast them out. I know who's doing it. I know who, who it is. Okay. And I even know how to talk to him too. To get him away. Okay. But the poor innocent children I seen in this dream. Y'all guys. Okay. The dream that I had. Was I was in a house again. The same. Looked like the same house. Okay. Um. Where the kids were screaming. And I was flying in the air like an eagle. Because you know, as us Christians, when you are of God, you fly like an eagle. Because the Holy Spirit is like a dove, like a bird. Okay? You're soaring the sky. Okay? So I'm flying in the sky and I'm looking down. Okay? The children running out away from some other demons to a field full of demons okay a field full of legion people field full of demonic spirit legion demons y'all this this vision was so real okay when i have visions like this they be real they'll, they'll come true like the next day or the following week okay Yo, I was so angry at the fact that I saw the kids got murdered and devoured by the by the demons and they screamed loudly. Now I'm in the sky looking at it. Okay. And the Lord was in me to see what these uh these demons do in the dark. Y'all, when I say these children were screaming. And they were getting killed, and, and the beast, and the and the beast didn't have no problem whipping them up. I was so angry and and and, and disgusted by that because I woke up suddenly and said, "What the heck?" Okay, what the heck? I didn't like what I saw. Okay, I didn't like it at all, you guys. The poor children that they sacrificing these ki these kids unto devils. Okay, they're sacrificing them to legion of demons, a field full of demons. That's what I saw, a field full of legion beasts. And the children screamed while they were getting killed. Oh, did I not like that dream. Okay, I did not like the vision at all. Okay, but when God showed me visions like that, I know that this happening, okay, and it's not good. That's not a good good thing what they did, okay. That is not good. That's very evil, very wicked. So that's the dreams that I had, or in um for the past two nights. Uh, well, last night I had the dream about the kids, and the other the other. The uh, following night, the night before last, I had that other uh, dream to where I had to uh, 
wake my mother out of it because Satan can't attack. Okay? He does attack me and my mother at night. And I already know in my spirit who it is. Okay? But I don't like the idea on how he do, do the kids. I don't like how the idea, how they mess with the children out here. Okay? Um, my little, uh, subscriber, I forgot her name, but, uh, she, she'll know who she is when she, uh, when I talk about her vision. Her vision was pretty much, um, glorious to be exact. Okay? To what God is going to do. See, God was showing me visions and, um, uh, allowing Satan to attack to where... I ain't going to give in to that, okay? I don't like what Satan is doing, and I'm not going to give in to that. But the lady came and she told me, okay? She told me she saw uh, uh, the other night that she saw a, sna a snake, a couple of snakes. Um, I think it was a couple of snakes or was a snake? I think it was a couple of snakes that she saw. Um, that she said she wanted to attack these snakes. But she couldn't. But she saw a man that she couldn't see the face too much. Had a big axe. And was cutting their heads. Okay. So she was telling me what, what, what that meant. And I told her one of the scriptures. I forgot what the scripture is. But I might link it down in the description right below. Um, that God is going to cut off the enemies. Okay. The vision that she had that God is going to cut off the enemy's uh, satanic kingdom. He's going to cut them off. He's going to destroy them. That's what the acts mean. Meaning the acts that God had. Because that's who she saw. Okay. The reason why she can't see the face too well. Because the face is uh, full of light. When you actually do see God. See, Jesus Christ, when he revealed it to cast out demons, his face is full of light. I mean, very bright, bright light as the sun. So that's why sometimes when you see him, his face is blurry. A lot of times you see him, his face is blurry. Only when you're casting out devils to be transfigured before your eyes or if he wants to reveal himself to see, for you to see, he will do so. Like he did for me, okay? He did it for me because he was casting out devils for me at the time I had fornicated. Okay, so I was able to witness this light of his face. Now, she saw the same type of eye, type of vision. She saw the vision where, where God's face was blurry and it was a man with a big axe chopping up snakes. Okay, chopping, beheading them. That's God um, destroying the Santana kingdom. And I told her to count it all joy for God is protecting you as well. Okay. She's seeing the visions. She's seeing them. God is pouring out his spirit upon those that wants to hear. Whoever have an ear, let them hear. Okay. So I told her that's amazing that God is showing you visions like that like he has done for me. Okay. So I told her, I said, also, Satan can also come in your dreams because God will allow it. He will allow Satan to try you like he did uh, his servant, perfect servant Job, okay? But you will automatically know that the enemy is, that's the enemy because the enemy comes uneasy. He comes very uneasy, he comes to where you know sin is of the devil. He comes in a dark spirit. Y'all all seen these dark spirits, okay? Y'all seen those dark spirits, to where they want to pin you down, stronghold, you can't get up. The only time you can get up is when you rebuke it, okay, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, okay. Um, he comes as a wolf, he comes as a roaring lion, um, and he also can be lustful. So anybody that's waking up out of a sleep talking about they are uh, having uh, sex with some spirit, Okay, y'all know y'all haven't had, y'all don't seen dreams like that or had lustful images in your head. Know that's Satan trying to get you to fall. Okay, like I have. Okay, I knew right away that was Satan. I said, oh my goodness, that's Satan. 
Okay, because I didn't go to bed dreaming that. I went to bed thinking about that lady, about that heart. Okay, but Satan comes in your mind. He comes to where he was. he's trying to get you. Okay, so the best thing is to be sober, be vigilant, have the whole armor on 24-7. Okay, I'm telling you guys that because I've also got to do it myself. Okay, I have to have the whole armor 24-7. Of God. Put on the whole armor of God. To withstand the wiles of the devil. Okay. So. The girl. The lady. Um, my little subscriber. She had a beautiful. Beautiful dream. To witness. God. Um, getting rid of the enemies. That is beautiful. Okay. To see a vision like that. And when you have dreams like that, you'll be able to discern which it is. Now, if you have dreams and you don't know exactly what it meant, if you see, like she said, she saw a God with the axe, okay? She said she knows she, what she saw with the axe. Now, when you see, like, see dreams like that, look it up in the King James Bible, okay? You will see what it actually means, okay? Like me, I had to look up a lot of my dreams in the King James Bible, okay? Till I realize it all ties in two. You get what I'm saying? So, that was amazing what she is experiencing. Because I had dreams like that a lot. Okay? Dreams like that where God is destroying the enemy. <laughs> you know? To where um, he beheads him. Okay? And it's, it's funny. She's, it's not funny, but it's uh, amazing. That she having the same dreams that I'm having. Okay. So God is pouring out his uh, spirit upon those that is willing to listen. Okay. You have others that don't want to uh, acknowledge God out here. And the ones that don't. Those are the ones that are being taken over by the enemy. Okay. Note, listen well. The ones that don't want to acknowledge God out here are the ones that's being taken over by the enemy. They already is vexed and fooled with the enemy and his beasts. Okay? So that is why the spirit of Antichrist is out here. There's many of them. And he's, and he's vexing those that do not want to accept Jesus Christ within their heart. Okay? This is why a lot of them deny Jesus. So the only way to defeat the enemy is to have Jesus. Okay, that's why he got his little imps, his little antichrists out here trying to make y'all think that Jesus Christ is not God when Jesus Christ is God. Okay, he's the only one that had delivered me and he's the only one that had delivered a lot of them, a lot of people out of bondage. Okay, a lot of people out of bondage, a whole lot of people he had delivered. But the thing about it, you have to. Stand on his everlasting words. You cannot slack off. You cannot um, go back to the wickedness. Now, if you go back to the wickedness, that's on you. That's that's you will be found iniquity in thee to go against God. Okay, you're going through the opposite. You'll be an enemy to God. That's not good. Okay, so that's what Satan and his beasts have done. They were found iniquity in thee to go against the Father. Okay. Notice what they're doing. They're still trying to tempt people to be wicked like them. How, how evil is that? That's evil. Okay. So, I wanted to tell y'all about these dreams and these visions that I have and with my little subscriber have. That that is amazing She what she had. I wanted to share it. I, I hope she don't mind. But I wanted to share her vision as well. Because that is amazing. To have visions like that. As well as I have. Okay. So that we that looks like we on one accord. In the spirit of God. Okay. We on one accord there. And that's 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 what we want. In the spirit. We want to be one accord with the Holy Spirit. To come together in the body of Christ. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be. That is how it's supposed to be you guys. Okay. Definitely that's how you're supposed to be when you also get married. Okay. The husband have the vision of vision of God as well as the wife. Okay? 
and they come together in, in one body. Okay? That means y'all both on one accord in the Holy Spirit. See? That way you'll be, in, uh, be married in the Spirit of God. Now, if you fall, if you're a devil, okay, the best with many devils, but you got a lot of people vexed with legions out here, and men fornicate and prostitute with these, I mean, fornicate with these different prostitutes, and um, lust after the strange flesh, and what they doing is killing their own soul, okay, the women and the men, they're killing their own soul because the, men, the the demons are in these people, and when they fornicate. It gets in the demons also gets in them, you know. That's why they have these sex magic rituals that these Santanas got because it's a form of more vexation of demons, okay. And you don't want to be mingling with that. That's why God told uh told uh what's his name uh King David uh son Solomon to not mingle with strange women, okay, because they'll make it turn away from that from his God, which they have, okay. So. Only the body of Christ is, and the Spirit of God is when you truly married indeed, okay? But people, serve the living word, and I wanted to tell you my visions as well as my uh, subscriber that Jesus Christ is God, okay? Jesus Christ is God.